All right, so I am continuing to, to work on this wing. Now notice, because I started with a curve, it's, it's automatically giving me a curve on the other side. So to stop that, I have to hold down Command and grab the handle and push that handle all the way back so that I can get a straight again. And then I'm going to jog it out a little. Whoops. Oh, I lost it. Okay, there we go. Jog it out a little. And I can always convert it to a curve after the fact. So honestly, especially if you're just starting out, the easiest way to understand it is to not try to get a perfect shape right away. The easiest way to use the pen tool, and this is true in Illustrator and in Vector.com, is to just work with only straights to begin with. So we start this way. Come on, pen tool. We click and we move. We don't drag. We click and we move. We don't drag. We click and we move. We don't drag. Click and move. Don't drag. Click and move. Don't drag. Especially if you like your refined sketch, right? And you're trying to match it. Click and move. Don't drag. Click and move, don't drag, click and move. Click and move, click and move. So this is drawing it all with just absolute straights. And then once I finish the loop, I convert it into a fill, because right now it's just a, a border or a stroke. Then I can turn it into a curve. Instead of having to try to work back and forth between curves and straights because that's tricky right doing this kind of thing and then holding down command and pulling its handle back to get it back to a straight okay so now i'm closing the path by ending where i started right and now i'm going to fill it with a color and that color is going to be black from the options and i'm going to turn off the border because that's adding a little bit of extra width now if I double click on it, I can see all those anchor points I plotted and I can use the cornering tool to soften some of those into curves, which might be what I want. So like these big curves, this is a really easy way to get a really nice rational curve using these round the corner tools. Okay, so you can see that curve is working, that curve is working. Let's keep it going. Round out the tips just a little bit. But I'm going to keep those sharp points on the inside just like I have on my other wing. I don't know if I like that perfectly straight. So I'm going to turn that into a curve and then just play with it a little bit. And I can always zoom in and I can even add another anchor point to soften it. There we go. I'm going to round out my edges of my wings here. So you're actually all going to be required to print three things for your midterm on 8 by 10 by 350 pixels per inch. So you're going to create a new file in Photopea that is 
blank white 8 by 10 by 350, and then you're going to bring your vector onto it. So you're required to print one of your logos, either your black logo or your color logo, just so you can see how a vector prints differently than a raster image. And then at least two others from the beginning of class. Your exercises, your creature, your landscape, your creaturescape, your animation storyboard, all of those would be good things for your midterm. But yeah, I do want everyone to print a logo. Because it's going to be the cleanest of all of our prints because we derive it from a vector. But yeah, that's a good question. So 8 by 10 by 350. That's the studio resolution. Okay. So I've almost got this wing. I'm just tinkering with it a little bit. There we go. Now the bottom is where I still have straights. And I might want to round those. Corner those. Just slightly. And maybe we want to round these corners just slightly. Whoops. That's all set. All right. So now I've got all the parts except for the body. And remember, this saves automatically in your dashboard. All right. So it's all right here. Because vectors don't take up a lot of memory. Okay, now I have the really complicated one. And I'm going to do it with as few anchor points as possible, just doing it as a polygon. So I'm going to, whoops, I am on the pencil tool. That's a mistake. It's tempting to just say, okay, I'm going to use a pencil tool. And I'm going to use my tablet and I'm just going to start drawing. It looks, oh, that's going pretty well. well. I messed up a little bit. It's okay. I'll change it. You know, and I go back and then I close it up. But you'll notice the pencil tool in this, I say it's trash because, to, to do, ah, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Because it plots just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of anchor points. <laughs> so if I double click on it, it looks like that. And that is not very useful or helpful. Does that make sense? But this is how kind of vector animation programs work. It plots a lot of them. It does give you a sense of control, but it's not going to be clean enough for a logo, right? So better to not use this tool, the pencil tool in this program, and instead, oh, I got to delete it here. So that's called a free form path. I don't recommend it. And it takes up a ton of memory because those anchor points take up memory. And now it won't let me delete it. Okay, let's turn it off and lock it. So instead, if I use the pen tool, I just plot and move, plot and move, plot and move as all straights. I can get something a lot more rational that I can adjust and perfect. And I can convert the straights to curves after. Instead of trying to do it while I'm drawing. Now, once you get really used to it, it's no problem really to do this kind of thing. To plot your curves and then hold command and then bring the guide back and then plot your next curve. Sympathetic to the original curve. Hold command, bring the handle back. But at, when you're just starting out, just make it all with straights. There are s some branches of logo design that just do everything with straight polygons anyway. It's part of the aesthetic. And you can do this with Illustrator as well. It's just a little different. So if the pencil tool were just a little bit less anchor happy, 
like maybe 70% less anchor happy. I think that would be a useful tool. But as it is, I don't find it very useful for professional looking design in the freeware. I love the pencil tool in Illustrator. It's my favorite tool in Illustrator. But the whole point of being able to plot anchors is so you can fully control the two-dimensional shapes. Get them exactly where you want them. Just takes practice because it's not at all like drawing with pixels. And since we're going for a personal patriotic symbol, our refined sketch has a lot of personality, right? We want that. We want to find a way to use the vectors to show that personality, which can be really difficult. And that's why it's a skill worth paying you for learning how to do this well. So I'm plotting a few curves at the end here. But I'll go back to just straights. I just know I'm going to want these to be slightly curved. The stripes. A little bit more organic. Oops. You can always do Command Z to go back one, or Control Z if you're on a PC. And then you have to end where you began to close the path. Now, if I fill that with black, turn off the border, right? and then turn off my sketch. That's a pretty usable logo, but you just see there's a few places I want to curve it so it doesn't feel so blocky. And so again, to do that, I just double click and then I can use the rounding tool. On a lot of these, just to help them soften. Or I can double click on them to turn them to curves to soften them. But I always start with the rounding tool because often it averages things very nicely. So just pulling at those corners a little bit to round them out. Whoops, I just created an extra anchor point there I didn't want to. It's all based on your visual taste. If you want to add another anchor point, you certainly can to get the shapes you desire. And if you want to double click and turn them to curves that you can control, you have that option too. Because I'm going for dynamic, I'm trying to avoid horizontals and verticals. I want lots of curves and diagonals. That's what's going to move the eye at speed, and that's what I'm after.
lots of curves and diagonals. But every once in a while,